Was it a tough time being Latino in this country the last couple years? Uh, especially when Trump was president. That was tough for us. That was not easy for us. Yeah. Here's how I knew we were in trouble as Latinos uh, with Trump. When Trump first ran for president, the first campaign speech he made, he did a thing. Uh, he only used Spanish to be racist, right? It was very subtle, but he'd put it in all his speeches. He'd be like, Mexico, they're sending their worst people. A lot of murders, a lot of rapists, a lot of bad hombres. <laughs> the situation is very bad, no bueno. <laughs> Which is why we have to move very quickly and we cannot afford to go despacito. <laughs> Chimichanga, Jennifer Lopez, Yo Quiero Taco Bell. weird that he might be president again, that's crazy. This whole election, this is the craziest election in history, right? This election has had all the dignity of a twerking contest, right? First, we start out the year, it's, it's Trump and Biden, that's who we got, and nobody's happy about that, right? Like, this is the best we can do? We got one guy that can't talk anymore and another guy who won't shut the fuck up. Like, how do we get down to these two? Right? And it was clear from the start, like, Biden was way too old to do this. But they didn't want to admit that, so they're like, he's fine. He's fine, he's perfectly fine. Okay, plenty of people get winded blinking. He is fine. <laughs> and this is coming from me. I, I, I'm a Biden supporter, I like Joe Biden. He's done a lot for this country. Like, did you know that Joe Biden was the only person who told Lincoln not to go to the theater that night? <laughs> That's a hero, guys. That's a hero. But then he debates Trump, and that goes so badly that America's like, yeah, maybe we can't vote for a guy who might start a fire in the White House making toast. Maybe it's not a good idea. And then Trump almost gets assassinated. That's wild, man. And look, as a person, uh, listen, I don't want anyone to die. I never want anyone to be killed. So, you know, I was glad that uh, Trump survived that, you know. But I did want him out of the race, so I had mixed feelings when I heard the news. And I was like, what happened to Trump? Is he okay? That's good. No, that's good. That's great. That's great. That is great. No, it is great. It is good. It is good. Then, if that's not crazy enough, the next week, Joe Biden, he gets COVID, which is wild. And Joe Biden's supposed to uh, survive the coronavirus, and he doesn't look like he could handle pepper on his eggs, you know? Like, if you put paprika, his heart is going to explode. Forget it. Right? Finally, they convince, uh, they convince Biden to drop out. They go, we've done the research, and people do not want to vote for a guy whose enemies are going to be North Korea and stairs. <laughs> <laughs> then we get Kamala, and that's great. And uh, then she debates Trump, and uh, I, I, I'm happy. I, I can't believe Trump survived that. I didn't know how he was going to handle getting yelled at by a black woman for an hour. You know, like, <laughs> I, thought he's, I thought he was either going to cry or come really hard. <laughs> But he made it through, and I don't know, it's still close, which is wild to me. I'm not a Trump guy. My big problem with Trump is, Trump likes to, he does this thing when he speaks, Trump likes to give himself compliments, but act like other people said it. Like they're telling me I'm the smartest president there's ever been, they're saying this. I said, if you say it, it must be true. I don't know, I guess. I guess it must be true. Like one time he goes, they're telling me I'm, I'm, I'm more attractive than Kamala. They're telling me this. I saw it on the internet. They don't lie on the internet. It has to be true. They, they all say it, that I'm the sexiest president there's ever been. The, the Secret Service, they come up to me, they say, Mr. President, we have a problem. The, the women in front of the White House, they're getting so turned on, it's like a water park out there. It really is. I said, if you say so, it must be true, I guess. I don't know. All right? He loves a compliment. Trump loves a compliment. That's the biggest worry. That's, if you give him a compliment, Trump is your best friend. That's why Trump's best friends are like Kim Jong-un, Vladimir Putin, right? Kanye West. Yeah. Right? That's not even a group of friends. That's like the entry ward in a psych hospital. Yeah. <laughs> like you're telling me you're taking Halloween candy from any of those dudes? I'm not. Right? If you, anyone could give him a compliment. The leader of Hamas could give Trump a compliment. Like, Donald Trump is the greatest leader. Donald Trump is number one. And the next day he'd be like, I'm not gonna lie to you. I like these Hamas guys. <laughs> They do a lot of great work at Hamas. A lot of great people. They say they're gonna blow a hospital up. They blow that hospital up. They do it. 
doesn't matter who you vote for, we're getting fucked either way because nothing changes, right? We're getting fucked. All you really get to vote for is like how you want to get fucked. Like, do you want to be fucked in the mouth or in the ass? Those are your two options. Two party system, that's your two options. The mouth or the ass. Now me personally, you know, I, I don't, I, I, go with, I go with the mouth because there's less long-term damage, you know? But, like, I'm not thrilled about it. I'm not gonna get out there and campaign. Like, more mouth, less ass, more mouth. You guys have been awesome, thank you very much, good night.